Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, look how dark that steam is coming up from uh, the side of Beehive. Look at that. There's been uh, a bit of activity. Yellowstone Lake is spreading. A lot of earthquakes there. Beehive erupted today for the 43, 43rd time of the year. Look how dark that is. Seven hours and 26 minutes ago. Yeah, seems to be on an eight-day interval of erupting. They moved the camera out a little bit. Yeah, you can see over here it's dark and it's dark. The reason it's dark is as the magma moves up through the system. It melts uh, the rock. Not all rock melts at the same temperature. And it rises up with the steam. Yeah, it looks like they're checking it out. Areas where there is no snow, yeah, that's the heat from the magma melting the snow. It's currently 38 degrees there. Yeah, a little chilly. They're not reporting any earthquakes so far today. There was a quarry blast, kind of dumb, because they know quarry blasts can create earthquakes. That created a 1.2 shaker. It was minus 0 0.2 kilometers in depth. Now they're measured from sea level. So that would be about 1.24 miles above sea level. Then there was a 0 0.7 yesterday. Uh, a 0 0.8 Lima, Montana. Yeah, they're still shaking. A 0 0.2. And I talked about the Snake River Plateau. This is another area where the magma system comes up. And it follows along the chain of past eruptions. A 0 0.8. Uh, that was on the 6th. So they're only reporting three earthquakes yesterday this is today each earthquake in red is marked by the computer so the seismologist can come in and review it this is from a borehole uh, a borehole is a very deep well under the ground so it does not pick up anything from the outside it's probably about 500 feet under the ground we'll look at the signature and we'll pull it over for these earthquakes yeah, definite earthquakes. Whole series of them here. And about um, just before 1300 universal time. And we'll look at the spectrogram again. Here you can see there was an increase in heated water that came up. Now this occurred around the 5th. The 7th we had an increase in everything and all the gases. Light green would be uh, sulfur dioxide. This is Yellowstone Lake. Going back to when they first started monitoring this well in 2008. Yeah, you can see the increase in the heated water. Uh, light blue would be ancient helium and methane. Light green, sulfur dioxide. And this is everything mixed together. The tilt meter measuring the uplift and tilt there at Yellowstone Lake. Top measures north, bottom measures east for the last seven days. Each dot would be an earthquake that created uplift. And this is the last 30 days. So we'll go back to the beginning of this earthquake swarm. You can see this is heated gases that came up. Um, the gases are from the magma. SO2, CO2, you know, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur ancient helium and methane it's Friday um, November 11th no November 8th excuse me so I don't know if anyone's there or not this is what it was showing when I pulled the uh, the files but since then there's been some other small earthquakes you can see that here this is Yellowstone Lake this is a borehole borehole 208 uh, this is Holmes Hill. It's not a borehole. And then down here we have Norris Junction, which is near um, where Steamboat Geyser's at. Prior to this earthquake swarm, yeah, we got a s several small popping of the rock here. Yeah, harmonic tremors or volcanic tremors, whatever you want to call it. They're both the same. See the up and down wavy movement of that? And we got another one right there. I'll put
pull this up for you. One moment. There we go. Yeah, these are all today. You can see um, Universal Time here on the side. A um, 11.08. Yeah, look at all that. I've got another one there. Two there. Yeah. You know, they only talk about the major eruptions, the three major eruptions that happened at Yellowstone, but it has had 40 smaller eruptions since the last major eruption. How, how small were they? I don't know. They don't tell us that. We're lucky that we even know that there was 40 smaller eruptions since the last major eruption. So they're betting, they're hoping that the next eruption is going to be um, a small eruption. Norris Junction, this is a borehole, is basically showing harmonic tremors. Um, we go here to the uh, spectrogram. We got a few very small quakes that brought up gases. Um, there's another one up here. I'll have to pull it up for you. Yeah, not a lot of activity other than the volcanic tremor. See that screw wave there? Yeah, up and down, up and down. And it's constantly been shaking, constantly vibrating. I got another small one. This was yesterday. So Norris Junction. The light green is basically sulfur dioxide and the red would be water. And this would be everything mixed together. And this goes back uh, here we got the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, up until today. The other monitor for Norris Junction, Borehole 205. Yeah, they got that shut down for some reason. Some kind of technical problems, I don't know. But Borehole 950, which I showed you the spectrograms from. Top is north, bottom is east. You can see it took a breath between the fourth and the fifth. Lots of dots means lots of shaking going on. This is the last seven days for the tilt, the uplift. Each dot would be an earthquake. This would be the chart for the uplift, the tilt for the last uh, 30, yeah, no, seven days. 30 days, excuse me. <laughs> and then the chart. Yeah, I'm tired. This cold is kicking my butt. Again, there's that uplift that happened. Yeah. And m remember, X and Y. They're measuring the deformation under the ground that's occurring at Yellowstone. Yellowstone is only one of five volcanoes around the world that they're actually measuring what's going on under the ground. The tilt at Grant for the last seven days. Yeah, look at all the shaking that's going on. Grant is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. And this is the last seven days. And then the last 30 days. Yeah, uplift going on. Like I said, there's activity showing at Yellowstone Lake that is spreading, um, widening at the bottom, just like they have um, new um, surface ground lava being formed at the bottom of the ocean. Here's a current image of Yellowstone Lake. Often we can see uh, disturbance around this island. Yeah, they got the uh, fault zone that runs all the way up through here. But when you look at the uh, different images of the camera, this was taken today at 11.50 Mountain Time. Um, yeah, sometimes you can see the disturbance that's going on here. There is a lot of hot jets underneath this lake. And the lake is really deep, about 350 feet deep. The static cam of Old Faithful, and they got someone out here working. See the orange vest? They're told to keep the live camera off of people when they're working. There's another one. Got two people out there, maybe three, maybe four people. Yeah, I made it larger. Yeah, what are they doing out there at Old Faithful? Taking temperature readings, taking gas readings, all of the above. Yeah, it looks like maybe they might have a machine out there that's taking measurements of the different types of gas. So that's a good catch. Another image of them out there. I'll try and make this larger. Yeah, I'm sure they're not happy that I caught this. 
see they turn the live webcam so you don't see them yeah and they were told they're always told when people are out there working don't put the live webcam on the uh, uh, workers dead trees they're dead because of the uh, gases coming up from under the ground um, over here I think would be ear spring and then farther over would be where the uh, new activity was occurring yeah they're not going to show you that see all the dead trees these follow fault lines that bring up the gases that kill these trees and this has really grown in the last year the amount of trees that have died because of the uh, sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide yeah all that if they had their way um, they probably wouldn't allow these static cameras to show when they're out there um, working here we have um, Holmes Hill which is you know close to the Snake River Plateau look at all the activity now we got two in red let's see if I can find it yeah you see the heat from the magma coming up and the hot gases and how it's been heated up there I mean, look at the signature I'll go back uh, I'll find this one yeah see the heat that came up with that earthquake yeah when I pulled the uh, files for swarm you can see the uh, earthquakes down here the heat that came up from them I don't know if I can get this to work right sometimes I have problems with this program but you can see lots of shaking going on look at that trying to figure out which line this is on go over here no real popping of the ground just a lot of magma coming up yeah look at that let me go to this line where is it at you can see the gap here when it was really shaken the traveling of magma under the ground where's that one at right there yeah again these lighter colors going up that's the co2 sulfur dioxide uh, ancient helium heating up the water and the gas is rising up and it comes from magma looks like they're still out there the Madison River today has had a large increase in the heat of the water this here would be sulfur dioxide you can see that and then we'll come down here uh, this goes all the way back to October 1st the tilt meter for Madison River yeah a lot of shaking going on lots of dots means lots of shaking last seven days and then the last 30 days see how it's breathing going up and down up and down and then panther I haven't had their chart for a while I was having problems pulling out that's the uplift for panther last week and then the last 30 days constant uplift yeah it's recharging who knows how long it'll take for it to recharge before yeah the two calderas uh, decide to collapse and it won't take a large earthquake for that to happen um, the ground's already very brittle within the caldera itself they wouldn't need a large earthquake because it's so brittle whereas outside of the caldera yeah they could have a magnitude seven or eight but inside the caldera yeah they would not need a large earthquake um, for an eruption and more likely it'll follow the same pattern that it did before if it had a large eruption which was a, a counterclockwise unzipping but then they could just have a small eruption too and that's what they're hoping for so that's all I have for you right now any thoughts or comments I want to thank everyone for their support yeah I've been demonetized too much truth um, yeah put your comments down below please subscribe 
please thumbs up my videos. Um, a good idea for those of you that keep getting unsubscribed or aren't getting notices, put a little icon on your iPhones so you can just click on it whenever and see whatever videos have recently posted. Yeah, see how they're not showing Old Faithful. That's because they're working out there today. All right, and take care, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.